Hello everyone, welcome back to daily news editorial. Today I will be explaining the DNA technology bill which has been in the news because as the government withdrew the bill um, this Monday. So uh, the main features of the technology bill uh, will be discussed in this video and what is DNA data bank and what are the challenges or the uh, objections because of which it had to be uh, withdrawn. So let us get started. Now uh, on Monday the government uh, withdrew the DNA technology use and application regulation bill from the Lok Sabha and it ended a 20 year effort to build a new regulatory framework for the use of DNA fingerprinting technology in the criminal justice system. The bill introduced in parliament uh, was introduced in the parliament multiple times. Now it faced oppositions on grounds of the accuracy of DNA technology, potential threats to individual privacy and the possibility of abuse. Now the present bill was introduced in the Lok Sabha back in July 2019. Now this bill was referred to department related parliamentary standing committee. Now here your homework will be what are the uh, to know what are the roles and functions of the parliamentary standing committees. So uh, now this parliamentary standing committee was on science and technology. So the committee submitted its first report in February 2021 recommending several changes in the draft but instead of introducing a fresh bill with changes the government decided to withdraw it altogether. Its decision made easy by the fact that the main provisions of the bill have already been enacted as part of another law that is the criminal procedure act that was passed by both houses of parliament last year. Now what are the features of this bill? So the DNA technology use and ap uh, application regulation bill was introduced uh, back in 2019 and what does it do? It provides for the regulation of use of DNA technology for establishing the identity of certain persons. Now the uh, same bill had been previously introduced in Lok Sabha back in 2018 but lapsed. Now use of DNA data. So under the bill DNA testing is allowed only in respect of matters listed in the schedule to the bill and these include offences under the Indian Penal Code 1860 and for civil matters such as paternity suits. So further the schedule includes DNA testing uh, for matters related to establishment of individual identity. Now while preparing a DNA profile bodily substances of persons may be collected by the investigating authorities. Now authorities are required to obtain consent for collection. consent for collection of bodily substances and this consent was uh, needed in certain situations. For arrested persons authorities are required to obtain written consent if the offence carries a punishment of up to 7 years. Now if the offence carries more than 7 years of imprisonment or death, consent is not required. Further, if the person is a victim or relative of a missing person or a minor 
or disabled person the authorities are required to obtain the written consent of such victim or relative or parent or guardian of the minor or disabled person if the consent is not given in these cases the authorities can approach a magistrate who may order uh, the taking of bodily substances of such persons now what is dna data bank so the bill provides for the establishment of a national dna data bank and regional dna data banks for every state or two or more states for either every state or two or more states meaning uh, two or more states can have one uh, single uh, dna data bank so uh, dna laboratories are required to share dna data prepared by them with the national and regional data banks every data bank will be required to maintain indices for the following categories crime scene index next is a uh, suspects or under trials index and offenders index missing persons index and lastly unknown deceased persons index so these are the categories now uh, removal of dna profile the bill states that the criteria for entry retention or removal of the dna profile will be specified by regulations however the bill provides for removal of the dna profiles of the following person a suspect if a police report is filed or court order given of an under trial if a court order is given and on written request for persons who are not a suspect offender or under trial from the crime scene or missing persons index next is the establishment of a dna regulatory board so the bill provides for the establishment of a dna regulatory board which will supervise the dna data banks and dna laboratories the secretary the, uh, department of Bio uh, biotechnology will be the ex officio chairperson of the board the board will comprise additional members including experts in the field of biological sciences and director general of the national investigation agency and the director of the central bureau of investigation what will be the functions of the board it includes advising governments on all issues relating to, uh, related to establishing dna laboratories or banks uh, next is granting accreditation to dna laboratories so further the board is required to ensure that all information relating to dna profiles with the data banks laboratories and persons are kept confidential next one is dna laboratories so any laboratory undertaking uh, dna testing is required to obtain accreditation from the board now the board may revoke the accreditation for reasons that include failure to undertake dna testing 
uh, uh, failure to comply with the con uh, conditions attached to the accreditation and if the accreditation is revoked an appeal will lie before the central government or any other authority notified by the central government. Further every uh, DNA laboratory is required to follow standards for quality assurance in collection, storing and analysis of DNA samples. So, after depositing the DNA profile for criminal cases, the laboratory is required to return the biological sample to the investigating officer. In all other cases, the sample must be destroyed. Now, what are the offenses under the bill? The bill specifies penalties for various offenses, uh, which includes uh, for disclosure of DNA information or using DNA sample without authorization. Now, for instance, disclosure of DNA information will be punishable with uh, imprisonment of up to 3 years and fine of up to 1 lakh rupees. Now, what exactly were the objections because of which the bill had to be uh, revoked or the bill had to be uh, withdrawn? So, the primary uh, objections were on grounds of privacy utility and possibility of misuse. So, DNA information can be very intrusive revealing not just identification traits, but also many other features that can be liable for misuse. So, critics pushed for inclusion of as many safeguards into the bill as was possible. Now, several rounds of discussions with members of parliament, legal experts, law enforcement professionals, activists and civil society were held. So, a number of changes were made in the original draft, but it was not acceptable to all. So, in recent years apprehensions were raised about the possibility of this law being used for racial profiling. Now, it was even argued that the police could not be trusted to seek DNA tests in their investigations and now the parliamentary standing committee also had objected to the setting up of the DNA banks in every state and suggested that one national DNA bank was sufficient. Now, uh, the other bill that is the criminal procedure bill. So, unable to get the DNA bill passed in parliament, the government last year included several of its provisions in the criminal procedure identification bill that was brought in to replace the identification of prisoners act 1920. So, the provisions related to collection, storage, access and sharing of DNA information that were part of the DNA bill have more or less been included in the criminal procedure identification bill. Now, this bill was introduced and passed by both houses of parliament within 3 days in April 2019. So, some members pointed out that the government was attempting to pass the provisions of the DNA technology bill through the back door and tried to refer it to a parliamentary committee for further discussions, but could not succeed. Now, with the 2005 amended to the amendment to the criminal procedure code opening the door for the legal use of DNA fingerprinting technologies and the 2019 act authorizing law enforcement agencies to collect, store and share DNA information under prescribed uh, conditions. The immediate needs for the use of DNA technology in crimi criminal investigations have been taken care of. But what has been left out is the creation of the regulatory environment, the development and adoption of standards and best practices in DNA testing and capacity building in this area uh, through accreditation of more laboratories equipped to handle DNA tests. So, that is all about this particular topic. 
now uh, before winding up i will post a mains question critically examine the ethical issues associated with the dna technology bill 2019 discuss the concerns related to consent uh, consent profiling and potential discrimination based on genetic information so that objections part which i explained in the previous slide that will the points discussed under that will help you to frame the answer so and this particular uh, topic will help you with your gs3 that is science and tech as well as gs2 polity and governance part so that is it for today folks i will uh, come up with another editorial tomorrow and if you want to keep yourself updated with such videos and hot topics do subscribe to our channel the link to which has been provided in the description box so till then take care and bye bye